Growing it vertically helps save so much space in your garden. By pruning some of the bottom leaf, you help with airflow. Your plant get less chance of a disease. It also increases the chance of you getting a faster harvest and maximum production in less time. So the couple things you're gonna need before starting this, you're gonna need a pruner. You're gonna need at least four to five feet state. And you're gonna need some of these soft garden twines. Get the soft one, check in the link in the description. The soft one does not hurt or destroy your plant. Before I dive in right now, I notice a lot of people haven't been subscribing, so I kindly ask you, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button, followed by the bell icon. It's 100% free, and every time I upload a video, you guys will get it right away. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Let's go into the video. So that's my squash plant right there, yellow squash, um, summer squash. So you see how the plant is tilting this way? We're gonna put our stake somewhere over there, so we're gonna pull the plant literally backward like that. You wanna make sure you put this, your piece of wood or whatever you're gonna use, three inches away from the main stem. So if you could see, that's our main root. So we're gonna average about three inches right here, and then pop in right there. You could get a hammer or something to just hit it in, uh, at least about uh, four to six inches down. So three inches away from the main stem and I hit it down about four inches down. So before you pull the plant and start tying, uh, check your leaves. If you have more than 10 leaves, which we have, and uh, I'm gonna start removing the two bottom one. When you're pruning, always make sure you look from the base of your plant, from the root and then prune from the bottom. So we're gonna look at our two lower leaves. And our lower one, we got one here, let me show you. So that's one. If you're afraid to prune a lot, don't prune a lot. Just take out two bottom leaf, which is gonna give us a lot of room there. So get your tie, make it into like a U or a V like this. So the whole idea, we're gonna go between the main stem. So what are you gonna do? Make sure you're not gonna destroy any of your fruit that's growing. So we're gonna kind of pull it that way. Hoping you guys could see. So we're gonna come on top and basically once you got your left hand guiding it here and your right hand and then pull it but don't pull it too like to squish the plant on the pole you don't want to do that and then twist it a little tie like this i'm going to show you close so if you look right there see that there's no leaf touching the soil there and we're just going to move it a little bit lower so look at that and as i said the side piece i always pinch off some stuff and this way it's holding strong. So, so now as the plant, our plant is gonna be growing upward. As it reach another couple inches here, at least about five, six inches, put another tie and then repeat tying, tying, tying. And this plant, you know, they grow between four to five feet high, they will grow. And as they're growing and you see they're passing 10 leaf, definitely keep pruning. So this is very important. When growing squash plant, you want to make sure you add some kind of organic fertilizer every two weeks. Also increase the calcium in the plant. You could add, uh, you could mix whole milk and put it inside. You could use powder milk or you could use garden uh, lime, organic garden lime. These are ways that you could increase the calcium. Increase the calcium because especially in the bottom here, if you don't increase the calcium, the bottom here will get soft and get rotten. That's one problem. Uh, make sure you have bees to pollinate. If not, come in the morning time and hand pollinate your fruit. That way you will not lose your fruit. I think I'm just, I'm just trying to toss everything inside. So another thing is the water. A squash plant is best to water every two to three days. If it's over 90 degrees, you gotta water at least one to two days. So I do not wanna keep this video going. Thank you so much for watching Green Tea Garden. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better home garden together subscribe for more upcoming videos is 100% free all you have to do is click the red subscribe button and the bell icon is 100% free and every time I upload a video you'll get it right away I do appreciate everyone who's watching like comment and stuff I'll see you next time thank you so much